right, everybody, today we are going to do a close read on Abigail Adams. So if I... Wow, these words are blurry. Yes, they are blurry because it's right in front of your face. Not that close, you guys. Well, it's close to our face, so it's a close read. Ah, oh, now let's talk about close read. Come on up. Who can tell me what they know about a close read? Lexi. Well, the first read with your partner is when you're just trying to see what's going on in the story. Okay, first read with your partner. You're just getting through the story. You're enjoying the article. You're just getting through it. Yes. Um, for the second read, you begin to annotate. Annotate. You can start looking for annotations, maybe vocabulary words you don't know. Yes. Um, the third read, you should like really start annotating. Third read with your partner. You could uh, compare annotation notes, right? Go more in depth in the article of what uh, the article means to you. What would you What do you be looking for? Yes. The main idea and details. Sure, main idea details. Yes. You might be looking for vocabulary. That vocabulary, you know. absolutely. What else? Yes. Important details. Yep, important details. Yes. Exciting details. Exciting details. Yes. Connections with the text. Connections with the text. What are connections you're looking for? Yes. Like text to self? Text to self. If something in a text reminds you of your world, beautiful. Text to self. Yes. Text to world. Text to world. <gasps> something reminds you of text about something that's going on in your world. Yes. Text to text? Text to text. What is that? So, yes. Um, so if you read one book, it reminds you of another okay. story you might have read. Yeah, if you're reading one book and or an article that reminds you of a book that you've read or are reading, yes, text to text. Yes. Text to man. Yeah. Text to man. What's that? When you like have something similar to like that person. Okay, to that person. Chase, what is that? It's L. When you do an annotation for L, it means that you learn something new. Learn something new. Good. Natasha. This is the question mark. It means I have a question. Cool. Uh, that is the star. It means something's important. This is an exclamation part mark, and it means it's exciting. Excellent. Thank you. Zach, what are you doing for your annotations? A double question mark means you're confused. Confused. Maybe very confused. Yes. Annie? R means reminds me of something. Oh, great. <laughs> C means you have a connection or somebody else you know has a connection. Oh, yeah. They stole all of mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, looks like you came up with something. Yeah. So why am I going to put that? No. no. Oh, I see. So if you have that in your close read, that means? You knew that. You knew that already. What all you right. got there, buddy? Um, if you put a V in your close read, that means you got a new vocabulary word. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Lexi? Um, double exclamation point means that it's inspirational, it's mind-blowing. <laughs> Brennan, what is that sad face annotation? Um, it's where there's like a sad part where a dog dies maybe in the, in the story or in the poem. That'd be sad. What's the heart? Um, it means that you really like what's happening, or let's say that she donated all her old clothes to a shelter, mm -hmm. then you could do a heart like, oh, that's really nice. Very nice. Oh, that's a big one. X contradicts my expectations. Oh, that's a good one. Thank you. Four. 